Davis. Boy, she's always here to protect you. She's got today's uh, consumer headline. Yeah, so this is sort of a follow. We told everybody about the Netflix phishing email mm -hmm. scam yesterday. If you see it pop up in your inbox, the subject is your suspension notification. Well, it then asks you to click on a link to enter your billing information, oh, or it says your account will be canceled. <laughs> yeah. So obviously the best thing to do with phishing emails is to just delete them. But if you're unsure about the legitimacy of any email with links, you can hover your mouse over those links within emails. Do not click. But when you hover, you'll see the actual domain that that link is sending you to. Nine times out of ten, it's not Netflix or what they say it is. Well, BSH Home Appliances has expanded its recall on these Bosch dishwashers. The company has re received reports of the power cords overheating and actually catching fires, Ooh. resulting in property damage. The latest recall, 469,000 dishwashers were sold in stores nationwide and online from September 2012 through January 2015. Now, nearly 200,000 were previously recalled in 2015 and those were made from January of 08 through December of 2013. If you have one of them, contact BSH Appliances for a free inspection and repair. Apple this morning working to affix a very annoying autocorrect bug on its iPhones as if autocorrect isn't annoying enough. Yeah, right. Well, now some users say when they type a lowercase I in the phone, it autocorrects to an uppercase A with a question mark. The bug appears to be impacting iPhones with the new iOS 11.1 software. Apple says a future update should fix the error, but but they've published a temporary <laughs> fix. Yeah, it's basically a lot of you steps. go in and you create your own predictive text. You can go in and say, when I type a small I, I want you to replace it with a big I instead of whatever it is you're doing there with the question mark and things, but you have to do it yourself, man. Yeah, both of you guys said you've seen this problem. I had it. Yeah. I had to fix it. I got it one way. yesterday. I'm like, what are you trying to say to me? Right. <laughs> I know. Sorry, fix it. Has anybody ever said, oh, yeah, that would be a better way to say that? <laughs> I, no, not yet. Said no one ever. But I've always messed up on autocorrect. Always, I'm never trying to say what well, you I can fix it for you now. <laughs>